Hello, my name is Wyndham Lucas and I'm going to be showing you different techniques and different methods of how to use tools for DIY. Today I'm going to show you how to use a torque wrench. There are many different types of torque wrench on the market. There's electronic, the click torque wrench, or this particular torque wrench which I'm going to use today. This uh, torque wrench is set foot and pounds. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to tighten this nut to the desired pound. Uh, so in this instance we're going to use 30 pounds worth of pressure and this is what this torque wrench will allow us to do. We'll tighten that nut accurately to 30 pounds worth of pressure, torque pressure. Now we would use uh, this type of uh, torque wrench or we'd use a torque wrench if, for instance, uh, a good example would be a cylinder head on an engine. Uh, you need to make sure that each nut or each bolt is of the correct uh, torque so that the head doesn't warp or move. So everything is exactly the same uh, tension or it's all under 30 pounds, foot pounds worth of uh, tension. Now, in order to do that, I place my socket on the torque wrench, like so. And what I do is I'll put the socket over the nut now, as I pull the torque wrench towards me, okay, it's just like tightening up a nut with a socket wrench, but as the nut comes under tension, the needle moves. This needle here moves. I don't know if you can see, but the needle moves within this dial here. And when it hits 30, I know that the desired torque has been achieved. I keep going around. Okay, now I've got 10 pounds torque. And we go again. I've got 20 pounds of torque. And again, one more pull. Keep going, keep going, keep going. I've now got 30 pounds worth of torque on that nut to that bolt. So that is set at the correct torque. If I had six or seven of them, I know that what I would have bolted would be exactly under the correct tension. Each nut would be under this, exactly the correct tension. And that is why we use a torque wrench. Uh, maintaining torque wrenches, make sure that they're clean. Make sure you can see exactly uh, what uh, what the dial says and make sure that um, when the needle moves you do it gently and as accurately as possible. And that is how to use a torque wrench. I hope you found today helpful on the different techniques and methods of using certain tools for different DIY projects. If you'd like more information please visit my website. <laughs>